Adrian, how are you? Good. How you doing? Give me five. School is becoming a struggle for first grader Adrian, who is easily distracted. He's really active. He doesn't stay still. You get lots of homework, Adrian? Yes. Yeah? How many pages? Fifteen. He's unable to complete the homework. Yes, and he doesn't stay still. He just gets distracted easily. Pediatrician Blanca Fresno of Children's Physicians Medical Group says children who have Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, are more likely to have learning difficulties, but can succeed in school with the right support and treatment. ADHD is a condition that uh, affects the child in such a way that he or she is not able to control their behavior. Uh, it affects them in their everyday life, it affects them in their school performance and in their relationships. The three main symptoms of ADHD are inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. When the symptoms start affecting all the areas and things become uh, out of control, pretty much you need to seek an evaluation. We're gonna check his vision and his hearing, and I'm gonna give you some questionnaires for you to fill out and the teacher needs to fill those out as well. We test them uh, for their vision and their hearing, and uh, then we provide the family with a questionnaire. These are standardized questionnaires, and uh, they are supposed to be answered by the parents and by the teachers. And when they come back in follow-up, we score these questionnaires, and those scores give us the risk for the patient a detailed family history is important because often there is a close relative with the disorder. ADHD is seen in the family. Uh, often we find out that it's in the father or the cousin or an uncle, uh, sometimes in the mother. If we decide that Adrian does have ADHD, what would be the process? There are three different ways to uh, approach treatment. Uh, through the school, through counseling and through medical treatment. The use of prescribed stimulant medications in the treatment of ADHD continues to be strongly debated. However, many pediatricians say in most cases these medications work well in controlling symptoms of hyperactivity, impulsivity, and help improve focus. These medications have been out in use for so long. We do know that the outcome in children who use medications are, is better than those children that don't use medication. Dr. Fresno likes to show parents this before and after example of how medication improved a young child's focus in his schoolwork. You can see how focused the work is here and how chaotic is there. Academic support can range from tutoring, preferential seating, extended time on tests, and even using electronic teaching methods such as tablets. Dr. Fresno says it's important for both parents and children to learn ways to cope with ADHD. Empowering these children with knowledge, uh, giving them enough counseling to find out that there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. That's simply how they are and how they live in the world. And um, giving them the right guidance to, uh, to succeed um, prevents so much of the complications of low self-esteem. For more information on ADHD and other children's health topics, call 877-276-4543 or visit cpmgsandiego.com.